Hello, I'm Dr. Walid Fatin, Clinical Research Fellow at the Liver Unit in Leeds Teaching Hospitals. In this video, I'm going to talk about liver cirrhosis and try to explain some of the implications it could have for you if you've got liver cirrhosis. We're also going to discuss the various tests and investigations that you might be invited to have following the diagnosis of liver cirrhosis and explain why these are important in helping you to stay healthy. So these are three questions we will have answered by the end of the video. What is liver cirrhosis? What are the complications of liver cirrhosis? What are the tests and investigations you may need to have and why are these important? So to begin, let's, ha let's have a look at the liver. And here it is on the diagram, sitting in the right upper part of the abdomen. It's a very smooth and soft organ, and as you can see, it's very large. In fact, it's the largest internal organ of the body. It also performs a lot of very important functions. Three of these are going to be particularly relevant in this video. It breaks down all, the tox uh, all of the toxic and harmful substances in the body. It produces bile, which is needed for us to digest the nutrients and vitamins in our diet. And it makes proteins, which we need to have strong muscles, fight infections, and stop ourselves bleeding. So, as we said, a healthy liver is very soft and smooth in nature. But as the liver develops cirrhosis, that starts to change. Damage to the liver can start with anything that irritates it. Some examples of these are alcohol, being overweight, and hepatitis B and C viruses. But there are many others as well, such as these listed on the screen. When one of these factors is present for a long time and irritates the liver for a long time, it can cause the liver to become inflamed. To think about this, you can imagine skin that keeps being pinched again and again. Eventually, we see it turning red in color, and this is inflammation. This is essentially what happens to the liver when it is exposed to alcohol, one of those viruses, or some other factor for a long time. Now, if the liver stays inflamed over a long period of time, it can, st it can start to become scarred. This means that the normal soft and smooth tissue that we talked about gets replaced with hard scar tissue. There are several degrees of scarring of the liver, but when we get to the more severe end of the scale, we call it liver cirrhosis. Many people associate cirrhosis only with alcohol, but as we said, it can be caused by many other factors as well. So, there's the answer to our first question. The definition of liver cirrhosis is severe scarring of the liver, and it is caused by prolonged exposure to one of these factors that irritates and inflames the liver tissue. So what happens if you've got liver cirrhosis? Well, that depends on whether your liver is performing its functions properly or not. In some people with liver cirrhosis, the liver will work really hard to perform all of the functions that it needs to do. So, it'll produce bile and proteins and get rid of toxins. If this is the case, you won't feel like anything's wrong at all. But if the liver isn't performing its functions well, you could start to experience some complications of liver cirrhosis. And that's what we'll talk about for the rest of the video. Now the obvious question here is how long can the liver cope with cirrhosis to do its job, its job properly before you get complications? Some people can carry on for many years with no problems, but in others they may, they may happen sooner, the complications. But what's important is that we keep watching out for these complications by doing the investigations that we're going to talk about. That way, we can do something about them quickly to keep you feeling as well as possible. 
So these are the potential complications that we're going to discuss. Enlarged veins in the esophagus, weakened bones, confusion, muscle weakness, bleeding problems, risk of liver cancer. Firstly, one of the complications you could experience is enlarged veins in the esophagus. You might also hear it called the gullet or foot pipe. It all means the same thing, the tube that takes food and drink from the mouth down to the stomach. To explain why the veins here might enlarge, we need to go back to looking at the liver. And here it is on the diagram. The liver receives a large blood supply, which comes from a large vessel called the portal vein. And this is the blue tube on the diagram. Because a healthy liver is smooth and soft, the blood can usually flow through it without any problems. But remember in cirrhosis, the liver becomes hard and lumpy, which can create resistance to the blood flow, causing it to back up into the portal vein. It then reroutes along other small vessels connected to the portal vein, like this one which heads to the esophagus. Because there's more blood flowing through these small veins, they can become enlarged. And if this happens, they may bleed, which may be very dangerous. So, to tackle this issue, you may be invited to have an endoscopy. This involves putting a camera on the top end of a small tube through the mouth and into the foot pipe which allows us to see if you've got any of those enlarged veins. If you do, we can offer medications or some other procedures to treat them and prevent internal bleeding. The second complication is weakened bones. As we mentioned before, a major function of the liver is to produce bile. Once it has been made, it flows through a tube into the small intestine, where it allows us to absorb nutrients and vitamins into the blood. Among these is vitamin D, which is really important because it helps us to maintain strong bones. So, if the liver doesn't produce enough bile, we might not absorb enough vitamin D from our diets. And as such, our bones may become soft and prone to breaking. This is why you might need a bone density scan. It's to check whether our bones are staying strong and to ensure you've not developed osteoporosis. Your doctor might also put you on calcium tablets as this helps to keep bones strong. The next complication of liver cirrhosis is that you might experience confusion. A major function of the liver is to break down most of the toxic substances in our body. But if the liver isn't working properly, more of these toxic substances may build up in the bloodstream. Eventually, this can affect the brain and cause us to feel quite confused. So, to help this, to help stop this happening, you might be prescribed laxatives. These help to keep your bowel movements regular, so we can flush out as many of the toxic substances in the body as possible prevent them from building up, and prevent that confusion from occurring. We'll deal with the next two complications together. Having strong muscles and the ability to stop ourselves bleeding by forming a clot rely on a number of different proteins, many of which are made in the liver. If the liver isn't functioning properly, there might be too little of these proteins in the body. This can cause muscle wasting, and more seriously, the risk of bleeding when we injure ourselves. The level of the proteins involved in blood clotting, therefore, needs to be monitored to lower this risk. And we do this with one of the various blood tests that you have when you come to clinic. The final complication 
we're going to discuss is the risk of liver cancer. Now, it's important to know that having liver cirrhosis does not mean you're definitely going to get liver cancer. But the risk of this is higher due to the damage that factors such as alcohol and hepatitis do to the, to the, to the liver cells. The good thing is that the liver cancers are easier to treat if we detect them earlier. For this reason, you'll be invited for an ultrasound scan of the liver every six months. If we identify any lumps that might be of concern, we can investigate them and treat them early. So that's about everything. There's a lot of information there. So I'll just end by going over the key points that answer those three questions we mentioned at the beginning. Liver cirrhosis is severe scarring of the liver and can be caused by many different factors. There are several complications that you could experience, but the tests and investigations we offer you help us to catch them early and treat them before you become unwell. So, to look for enlarged veins in the esophagus, you'll have an endoscopy. To check for bone weakness, you'll have a bone density scan. To prevent confusion, you may be given laxatives. To look at your risk of bleeding, as well as to check various other indicators of health, you'll have blood tests. And finally, to look out for cancer, you'll have ultrasound scans every six months. If you've got any questions at all, please, please feel free to ask your doctor. Thank you very much for watching.